Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Sim UK here. This is Fishing North Atlantic. And um, yes, uh, in the last uh, live stream that we did, I asked you guys for some ideas about what we could name the boat. And uh, I'd asked previously to that as well. And I had a couple of, uh, couple of really nice names that I liked. But uh, I've decided on what we're going to call it, as long as it fits on the boat. I don't know what the number of characters we've got are. Uh, but the three suggestions that I liked the most were uh, omelette, which was my own personal idea. Uh, and I also liked unsinkable. That was pretty good, seeing as we nearly sunk the bloody thing about four or five times. Um, but I think what I'm going to actually go with is uh, a, a great comment or a great suggestion from, uh, from Rock and Roll, baby. You know who you are who came up with the idea of night catcher. And it's quite clever because we do a lot of swordfish fishing and it's the night catcher. So that's what we're going to call this boat today. Let's just go jump on in and uh, do that. So if I go to maintenance, change the name. Let's hope it fits. Night catcher. And it's got to be like this. Absolutely. Uh, mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. What sort of size can we... Can we go all the way across the boat? It, this thing is so in the way, isn't it? So in the way of what I'm trying to do. That's perfect. Okay, rename. It's annoying that I can't see it. All right, let's have a look. Look at that the night catcher that's perfect thank you so much for that suggestion it's a brilliant name and don't worry uh, in this episode we're going to be moving on to a new boat but we will be coming back to this one to do some lobster fishing when lobsters are in season so it's not the last time you're going to see the night catcher brilliant suggestion thank you rock and roll really appreciate that okay guys let's get on with this video now I'm just going to explain very briefly why this is a bonus video and then we'll get on and do it. So you can see in the top right hand corner, well actually you can't because my flipping camera's there. Let me just do that. There we go. So now you can see in the top right hand corner that we've got 5.8 million. Now that's enough to swap this boat, well not swap it in fact, buy a new boat, a new crabbing boat. And uh, it's been absolutely fantastic playing this game and having all of you watch. I've really enjoyed it. And we did a live stream the other day, which was absolutely fantastic. I had so much fun and I'm definitely going to do another one. But this is why this is a bonus video, okay? I'm going to start putting videos up once a week. And the reason for that is because the number of views that we've been getting on the videos that we're uploading have dropped dramatically. Therefore, the number of people watching has reduced considerably and I do have other things I need to focus my time on. I don't usually do hardcore let's play. One a day was far too many. It was great at the beginning because it was a really exciting thing and things were changing all the time. One every three days was perfect when the numbers were high, but now that the numbers are so low, I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to revert to one a week. So if you wanna come and watch the full live stream, then please do. I'll be doing it a week from today. And um, what I'll do is I'll take that stream and I'll edit it so that it's really short and I'll just show the highlights if you uh, just want just want to see the highlights and not the whole fishing experience. All right? So today's video, we're going to go buy a new boat. I can't remember what it's called, but... Uh... Oh, it's very late. Look at this. I can barely see a thing. Right. So it's all going to be done. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I forgot to start my emulator. Now my controllers don't work. Oh, God damn. Let me just fix that right now. Let me try. Come on, game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why is that doing that? It's being awkward. Okay. Get off. God damn it. Okay, you're going to hear some beepy beepy noises. Hold on. Hold on now. It's going to be all fine. ding a -de ding That means we connected, baby. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Uh-huh. 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 Uh. Oh. 
So I've only got throttle. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Oh no, there we go. We're in. We're good. All right. All right. So, let's roll back. Let's get fast passing mode. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did, did record the episode you saw earlier today. I uh, recorded that uh, yesterday. And... Um, just so you know where we are in in the world, in the in the real world. Where's my searchlight gone? The flipping searchlight is the only thing that lets me see what's in front of me. Where is it? Oh, it's going to be super perilous without the flipping slow things right down. I think. Oh, that's, that's 100% not zooming in. Why is that not zooming in? Oh, we're going to die! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> I can't see anything! Oh man, oh god. Right, okay. This, uh... I can set a deep line, that's a good start. Now we've got insurance on this boat, so it's not the end of the world, but uh, yeah, that, that clearly was not part of the plan. Uh, and we were really quite stuck there, so we're going to have to get lucky to get off here. Let me just go into first person and see what the hell is going on here. Why won't you zoom, goddammit? I cannot see a thing. Alright. Uh, let's... Let's try a couple of things. So the searchlight is on and it's facing the wrong direction. Uh, let's, let's just try... There we go. See, that would have been really helpful, wouldn't it? If I'd have had that on so I could have seen what was happening. Alright. Oh, I see what it is. So when I've got this thing up, when I've got the uh, the uh, the uh, the searchlight up, let me show you this. Let me let me show you this. Right, I'm actually controlling the searchlight with the bloody throttle. That's why we're having problems. All right, that's that's what's happened here. So let me turn this off for a second. Can I do throttle now? Okay, good. So that explains why it disappeared when it disappeared. All right. Do you know what? We've got insurance. Let's use it. Would you like to call the rescue service for 108,000? Say what? Say what? 108,000? What happened to my insurance? Oh, that, that little bug doesn't work anymore. You can't cheat and go straight back to... Uh, to base. Right, hang on. I've got insurance on my boat. Why have I got to pay 108000 Screw that. Right, come on, boys. Where's my crew? We're going to do this. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Right. Pearl, start repairing the boat. Nora, get the bacon sarnies on the go. Come on, lads and lasses. Let's get ourselves out of this little situation. So we're in full reverse. We've also got thrusters. So let me try doing everything. I get the impression that thruster's pushing me the wrong way. Be careful, my fuel tank is less than 25% full. Really not getting any purchase on this at all, are we? Oh, we done proper screwed up the boat, guys. Oh no! Yes! Yes, 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 baby! Yes! Alright! 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 I still can't see a bloody thing. This is really dangerous, perilous water. We're going to go like super duper pooper scooper slow. 
because I can't see anything. Look at this stupid um, this thing. When the, when you've got control of the searchlight, you cannot bloody steer the boat. I mean, who thought that was a good idea? So dumb. Such a stupid design. I can't think of anything more stupid than that. I really can't. Right, so we're going to creep along at granny pace. Let's, let's go up to slow. I think that's slow. All ahead slow. Because this bit is really shallow, guys. It's going to be a combination of trying to avoid things. You know, I could do this the easy way, couldn't I? I could just auto... Just do it automatically. But, I mean, where's the fun in that? What a great start to an episode this is. We've already nearly died twice. It's fantastic. This is entertainment. Entertaining myself. All right. <laughs> That's my Matthew McConaughey uh, impression, by the way. All right. <laughs> That's all I can do. I can't do anything else. If I ever met him and he went, all right, <laughs> I'd probably just go, all right. <laughs> and he'd be like, what was that? I don't know. I can't stop doing it. Right, I can see. Look at it. Looky, looky here. Look how tight this section is. Oh my goodness me. Slow it down. Slow it down because we cannot see a blinking thing. All right, there you go. See, already in the wrong trajectory. So we need to come left hand down a little bit because there's the edge of the the edge of the bay. We've got to get in between the six. There, there it is, the green thing. It looks like I'm going straight towards that building. It's so tight, this. Where's the other one? There it is. I see it on the right, on the left, rather. It's red. That's why I said right. I got confused. Oh, my God! This is so intense. Oh, my God! Oh, there is no space. There is no space. Right, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. As long as I stay real tight and close to this green thing, I think we got it. Let's have a look outside. That's how close we are. <laughs> oh! Oh, you know why? We've got the bloody side thrusters on still. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, my word. How did we get out of that? That was so close. These side thrusters are a pain in the ass. Come on, side thrusters. Centralize. Thank you. Whew. Well, that was pretty intense, guys. I, I didn't really plan that very well, did I? Look at this, though. Oh, man, this game just looks so damn good. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, that should be my screenshot right there. Let's get the old thrusters up and going. Do you know what I hate? This camera up here, right? Let me look, shaking my hands and stop. Shaking my hands and stop. See how good that is? Right? 25 quid that camera was up there. It's super wide lens. Okay, I've already told you it doesn't have zoom, it doesn't have autofocus, right? This camera here. Woo! C29. Shake my hands and stop. Shake my hands and stop. That's like, I don't know, 10 years old that camera. Cost me, I think. 30 quid 10 years ago or whenever it was just after it first came out now look at this one shaking my hands and stop shake my hands and stop look at the lag on that son of a bitch up there that one cost me 90 quid and it's like two years old absolute trash honestly I used to love Logitech. I used to think, oh my god, what a great company Logitech is. Because of the G29, you understand. The G29 was an absolute beast. It was brilliant. Sorry, not G29. G27 was an absolute beast. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved that wheel. Drove all over Europe using that wheel. It was fantastic. 
then I swapped it for a G29 because the G27 started having problems when they when they introduced G Hub and all the drivers for the G27 started screwing up. So I bought a G29 and sold my G27. But I kept the uh, I, I intended to keep the steering wheel. Uh, the I'll get my brain in gear in a minute. The gear shifter. So I would have had all the buttons on the G29 plus all the buttons on the G27 and that would have been perfect for truck simulation. That would have been like having a, 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 side, uh, a side panel. If you haven't seen that, I've got a farm sim uh, side panel which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and it would have just basically given me all the buttons I needed for flight simulation. But no, no. No. Instead, they replaced the G29 with this absolutely useless shifter that is completely unresponsive and has no buttons on it whatsoever. It's an absolute disgrace, I tell you. A disgrace. I think I'm going the wrong way, guys. Let me just jump in the head. The head? No, the head is the toilet, isn't it? What do they call the, the captain's area in a ship? not the head is it because that's the loo let me know in in comments please <laughs> I, I, I genuinely can't remember oh look at this look the sun is coming up we're gonna see a sunrise I think it's the first one I've seen guys oh that's beautiful all right this deserves a bit of external cam with uh, no HUD Quick question for the developers, if they happen to be watching this video. Why every time I turn the HUD off, do you have to tell me that I've turned the HUD off? And if you can't see it being in my best interest not to tell me that I've just pressed the button to turn the HUD off, then at least turn that message that tells me I've turned the HUD off quickly so I don't have to look at it for 20 minutes. You're ruining my sunrise, you know what I mean? Look at the lag on that camera! It's out bloody rageous. This one, no lag. Hello, hoo hoo, hee hee hee, no lag. I can go full Bruce Lee. Ooh, wah. See? 25 quid, nearly 100 quid. Not worth it. Logitech, you let me down. You're a disappointment. Whoever was in charge when the G25 and G27 were built, genius. Whoever took over from them, arsehole. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. Okay, anyway, that looks absolutely gorgeous. The boat is on the bay. The boat is on the bay across the bay of Fundy. That's why we're having so much fun, because it's a Fundy. No, okay, I'll be here all week. Don't forget to tip your waitress. In we go, down the middle, through Digby's gut, and into Digby. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, so, guys, the presidential election. Um, it's nearly finished, and I think the last time I looked, uh, Biden was in the lead. But... Um, a lot of what I've heard sort of suggests that uh, what's his name? Flappy hairstyle dude. What's his bloody name? Trump. That's it. Um, yeah, uh, suggests that he might be able to swing the last few votes. Um, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, yeah, interesting times. So. Um, I don't know, I, I tried to, the reason why, okay, let me explain a little something here. I've just woken up, which is why I'm sort of all over the place, talking a lot of dribble, crashing the boat and just doing a lot of silly stuff. It's 11.50 in the morning. I woke up 50 minutes ago. I woke up, no, it's not 11.50, because I've forgotten to change this clock an hour back. So it's 10.50. So I got up at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's late for me. I'm normally up by half six. So 10 o'clock in the morning and I, I I got up that late because I was watching the presidential election uh, footage. 
kept dozing off and waking up again and watching a bit more just to see how things were going. In comparison to British um, polling systems, it's so boring. Nothing happens in the American one. There is no, it takes more than a day to do it. It's crazy. In Britain, it's like midnight till 6 a.m. and you've got your answer. And you've probably figured out who's gonna win by round about four o'clock anyway. Three or four o'clock, it's quite evident usually who's gonna win. But in the American presidential election, it's like, I mean, I watched it most of last night, which is why I'm really tired today, and absolutely no idea is gonna win still. Not a Scooby-Doo. I guess that means it's a close run thing, but oh my gosh. I gotta be honest with you, I, I genuinely don't think having two options is the way forward. I really don't. I just, I think it splits countries, in my opinion. I think what America need to do is just have more than two parties. I think they need a, quite a few, a good three or four or five. And, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s now. So I've grown up and seen quite a lot of politicians and I've got to say there are only a very, very small handful of politicians that I consider to be honest people. So I think politicians either need to change their hereditary way of looking at things and behaving or just get rid of all politicians and just have normal people, like people who work and live in you know, own businesses in the community, people who are, have got smarts, um, but actually still in touch with reality and not, because what, it, what, what I find with politicians on the most part, with the exception of Trump actually, which is quite weird, but on the most part, they just say whatever they think will get them elected or whatever will get them financial, uh, stability from businesses and companies in the area they very rarely have an intention to make things better for the country and the people as a whole i just you don't see it very often there are not that many honest politicians they're all a bit two-faced some of them more so than others and somehow they remain in office for so long surprises me really does so I think, you know, let's just get normal people to run the country instead of these politicians, because politicians are taught to debate and not necessarily follow their instincts or their heart or their beliefs or their, you know, sometimes you've got to be mean to be kind. Have you heard that? And if you're not an honest politician, you're not going to take that stance because doing something that's mean or considered mean by people in order to benefit them is like, you know, it's, it's not going to get you re-elected. It might help people in the long run and they'll appreciate it eventually, but it probably won't get you elected. So if you're a career politician, being re-elected is quite a large uh, encouraging factor or mitigating factor you are going to have to factor in if I do this and it helps everybody but it really upsets a lot of people then I'm not going to keep my job so <laughs> being a career politician is, a, is it's not a good thing it's, it doesn't make sense But there you go, that's, that's my take on it. And I still don't know who's gonna win, Biden or Trump. But, uh, you know, I don't like Trump as a person, but he has impressed me somewhat with some of the things he's done, like visiting North Korea. I mean, wow, who saw that coming? Uh, I mean, for a while there, it looked like, well, you know, if you listen to the papers, World War V was about to start. Do you know what I mean? Um, but no, uh, he, he went, he met him, they shook hands, he took, he took a step into North Korea, I mean, wow, 
No president has ever managed to do that. Ever. They haven't even come close to doing that. That's pretty impressive. There are other things he's done as well. But I don't actually want to have a political discussion today. I'm just filling time whilst the boat is going across the bay. But yeah, I see, I, I genuinely, at this moment in time, don't know who won the presidential election. So, um, it's, it's, it is interesting, but my God, America make it boring, don't they? They drag it out for bloody ever. I suppose they're a slightly larger company, a company, country, than Britain. Uh, so there are more people, it's probably going to take longer, so I'm, I'm probably being a bit unfair there by complaining in that way. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And I think what I've heard from the news outlets today, and I don't just watch one, I watch a variety because otherwise you can't actually gauge what the truth is because they all have a, um, a manifesto that they're trying to, uh, not a manifesto, an ulterior motive that they're trying to push down your throat. So you have to watch a few different ones to get the, the, the full perspective of what's actually going on. But it sounds like, and as, as a British man, this sounds absolutely unbelievable. Uh, as, as, an in, as an intellectual, I consider myself to be an intellectual. I have a degree, I went to university. Uh, I, I did start my own business before I had a car crash and banged my head and can't do what I used to do. Um, so I do consider myself to be an intellectual. And the fact that no matter who wins the election, there are going to be court cases, there's going to be potential violence, there's going to be all this kind of stuff going on. What the hell is that all about? They're supposed to be a civilised country. Some people call them the leaders of the free world. Well, I'm sorry, but if people behave like that, then they're just a slight slither above Neanderthal, in my opinion. If you have a democratically elected leader and you don't like them, tough. <coughs> it really is tough. The amount of leaders who have got into power that I personally cannot stand and would never have voted for is gargantuan. There are so many. Um, but, you know, I don't start kicking off. I don't start going out in the streets and setting fire to shops and people's cars and smashing windows and stuff. That's not how it's done. What is going on there? America, come on, boys and girls. I think it's mostly boys who are kicking off and behaving that way. I don't think the girls are doing it so much. Maybe some, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's just... It's, it's like watching another planet. It really is. Oh dear. It's like, well, uh, if Biden loses, he's going to sue Trump for something or other. And if Trump loses, he's going to sue Biden because, you know, people are doing postal votes and it's all corrupt and none of it's real. And if, if I understand correctly, in some areas in America, uh, if you post a vote, um, you don't have to have any proof that it's you that's done it. And I think I heard earlier, bearing in mind it was like two in the morning or something, there, there are some places in America where you go and place a vote, where you go and you place a vote and you don't have to have any ID whatsoever. So I mean, you could, theoretically, you could go in, place a vote, come back out, put a wig on and a moustache, go back in and vote again. Theoretically, I mean, if you get caught, you probably go to prison, but if nobody's checking uh, anything you do and not making sure that you really are who you say you are, then um, corruption is going to be rife, is it not? Because believe it or not, don't tell anybody I told you this, but human beings, on the most part, are quite trustworthy, but there is a significant number who cannot be trusted further than they can be thrown. And that's mostly, uh, mostly, they come with the label of politician, in my opinion. <laughs> that's kind of a, that's, that's a, that's a conversation loop there, right there. We came all the way back round to the beginning, which is nice. Very nice, because we're just about to come up on, uh, on our objective here, or our destination. I thought that was a whale for a second. 
I got a little bit excited. I was like, oh my god, they've added Wales to the game. I always thought Wales was much further away from uh, Canada, but you know. Boom, boom. Full of jokes. And is that the lighthouse? I think it is, baby. Which means we're going just round that rock there. If I can hold it in focus for more than a second. Zanzibar. Okay, cool bananas. Very cool bananas. I've got to say, this does look good. I think it looks better than Fishing Barren Sea. Just the whole, the whole island building stuff. Right, oh, now it works. Do you know how much trouble you caused me by not working? Okay, we're into seriously shallow water here. Got to be careful. Is that my marker? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're going to ignore that marker. We're going to stay close to the shore. I'm so excited, guys. I really am excited. It's been a long, hard struggle to get the money for this boat. I've had about... I don't know, 200,000 stolen off me. I've had the lobster debacle. That was a nightmare. The tutorial absolutely destroyed my game. Oh, I think. Oh my God. Oh my God, we have run aground again. Look at this. I do not believe it. I knew it was shallow. I didn't realise it was that bloody shallow. Okay, that's my own stupid fault. Look, look how quickly the hull is getting destroyed. Oh my god, we might not make it to, to the port here, guys. man I cannot believe I've done this twice what an idiot you just can't see anything from the uh, from the captain's seat oh god stop 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 we've got nine percent of the boat left uh, we're screwed we are screwed, guys. Right, I'm going to have to cheat. I don't like doing this, but we've got no choice. Engine off. Right, so we've anchored for six hours. That's given whoever is doing the boat a bit of time to repair the boat. Good old Pearl. But my God, look how quickly it gets damaged. Oh man, that's not bloody fair. And no, that's it, we're done. Oh man, I sunk my boat. Can you believe it? Oh God. We've, we've done so much with this boat as well. Oh, I cannot believe that. Messing about too much, just being a silly, silly Billy, silly Billy banana. All right, I'm going to see, okay, if I, I don't know if this will work or not. This is like an experiment now, okay? So I'm going to skip for 12 hours and see if we can't repair the boat a bit. So Nora is too tired to work, but the boat is back up to 25%, right? So if I get somebody else on there, I might still keep this boat, guys. Oh my God, this is such a challenge now. 
This this episode has taken on a whole new perspective. Right, 12 hours from now. Okay, external. We got 22% of the boat. And it says that the engine is spinning, but I don't see it spinning. It says it's spinning. All right, that's confusing. All right, let's get the throttle back down to zero. Which I think the easiest way to do that is to press the... that button. Okay. I don't think we're going to get out of this. Your boat is sinking. You should call a rescue service. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. So Victor's just leveled up. I think the problem is that I can't start the engine. And I think I get the impression that the reason why the boat isn't completely uh, gone is because we're in shallow water. So it's trying to sink, but it's not managing to sink. Right, let's get someone else on repair. And can I anchor from this view? You can't do it from here. Okay. So they're all they're all ranking up. The boat is now forty five percent repaired. So if I get it to a hundred percent repaired, look how quickly we lose. Look how quickly we get damaged, though. So if I get it to 100% repaired, can I then get the engine going again? I don't think you can. Ah, oh, balls! I think that's what's happened. I think we've screwed the engine up. Ah, All right, let me just try this, because... Okay, so that's that's done a lot of repairs. Let's get somebody else on the go. Nora's too tired to work. Switch back to uh, whoever, whoever you are. Timothy, I think it is. Let's try another 12 hours, 10 hours. So what's the boat looking like now? 41%. Yeah, I, I can't. All right, let's... Uh, 248,000. Oh, my God. We're going to go get returned to Digby, though. Oh, man. You have been towed back to port and your boat has been repaired and refueled. Please be more careful in the future. Due to your rescue service membership, towing was completely free. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> See, why didn't it tell me that before? Because I would have just done it instead of trying to get out of it. For the repair of your boat was 242000 Has been deducted from your balance. Your boat has been automatically refueled as well. So, okay. Well, good news. Good news. We made it. But now we've only got £5.6 in the bank, which is a bit annoying. What a bloody disaster. You never know what's going to happen in an episode on SimUK, do you? Right, let's go to the shipyard, let's see what's available. So we've got the No Yankee, we've got the Scarlet, and we've got the Hermes. I'm gonna get Hermes eventually, but right now we're going for the Scarlet at 4.9 million. Yes. Check the wiki if you need any help using the crab tools. Okay. Tutorial, Snow Crab, would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, yes. I would, but we're not going to do that today, guys. That's going to be in the next episode. Uh, let's just look at... Uh, so we don't need to do anything. Let's look at upgrades. 
So we can upgrade the storage for 350,000. We've only got 672,000, so bear that in mind. Um, okay, so I think what we need to do in order to make some money is buy some fishing gear. So we're going to buy some large pots. Actually, let's start by buying bait because that's cheap, right? You currently have zero out of a maximum of five crab, snow crab frozen pot bait. Yeah, okay. So they're really cheap. Let's buy the pots. Uh, how many pots can we have? 55. That's going to cost me 55,000. Excellent. Look at that. They're on the ship already. That is awesome. That's so awesome. Um, right. So, fishing gear, buy bait, sell, buy... Okay, we've done that. Uh, let's go to town. Let's, ah, not the bank. Whoops. The bar. Tips. So you don't get any tips on crab. That's quite interesting. All right. That's fine. Uh, services. Insurance. Yeah, we have to buy insurance. That's 65,000. And rescue service, 35,000. Right, okay. So now we've got 612,000 to play with. Do we have any crew? Let's just check that. Who's on board? We've got four people on board. Crew house, return to Scarlet, return to Scarlet. Okay, so I think you can have a maximum of five people on board. Uh, and we've got that. So now we can look at the upgrades. Oh, hang on. Let's just go back here. Rigging. Yeah, we only do crabs. That's cool. Uh, upgrades. What do we want? We want a better engine. That's 85,000. Right there. Uh, fish sonar. We're going to have to boost that up. Because if we can't find them, we can't catch them. So, okay. That's that done. Side thrusters. I think... Bearing in mind the mistakes that I've made in the past, and this boat is going to be sitting a lot lower in the water. I think side thrusters are a good idea. Uh, the buoy upgrade, they're pretty cheap. Let's go for that. Um, fish sonar, fishing quota, autopilot, radar. Let's get maximum radar. We're doing quite well here, guys. Storage. All right, so 350,000 for storage. Why not? We've got the cash. Let's use it. Autopilot. Three grand. Check. We're just going to be able to do everything here. I didn't think we would. So we've got the best engine. We've got the maximum storage. We've got the best radar. We've got autopilot. Fishing quota we don't need to worry about. Fish sonar we've done. Boy, we've done. Searchlight. Here we go. That's it. We have maxed out the boat. That's brilliant. We have got the very, 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 very best boat that we could get for our money. And we even had enough to repair the old boat. Look at this, Scarlet, wow. Right, guys, I'm definitely gonna name this boat. The last boat, uh, I'll do that naming in the next episode. But uh, actually, I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it at the end of this episode. Or the beginning. Yeah, I'll do it at the beginning of this episode. I, what I mean by that is I'll do it in a minute and I'll put it at the beginning of this video because I forgot to do it. Right, I forgot to do it. That's what happened there. So we've got Scarlet. I'd be very interested to hear your ideas on names. And uh, it's a bit of a weird setup, the way that they've got these things stacked. And that's going to be quite tricky to work with. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, join me a week from now, and uh, we'll be going and doing this tutorial and, and kicking some butt. Should we have a little tour of the boat? Let's have a little tour of the boat whilst we're here. I so wish we had proper anchors in this game. So there's all the cool stuff. We've got one of these cool seats now, look. <laughs> so we can get ourselves in exactly the right position. Absolutely stunning. Would you look at that? Ah, this is so good. So we've got a little computer over here that we can't do anything with. Can't do anything with any of this stuff. It's not much of a view, is it, out of that window? You can't see an awful lot. Pretty scary stuff. Okay, let's go... Let's go below deck. That door doesn't open. 
That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Oh, wow, there's a, two levels. That's pretty cool. That's my kind of picture. That's nice. Nothing on the TV. I really think there should be something on the TV. Maybe weather. Weather on the TV. That's a good idea, right? That door doesn't open. Now, bearing in mind that in Fishing Barrent C, somebody hasn't washed up probably. In Fishing Barren C, they upgraded all of this stuff. So I imagine... Oh, yeah, see, look, we've got little crew uh, digs. I imagine they're going to... Oh, it does open. That's so weird. I imagine they're going to do something with these, perhaps. I don't know. Let's go out on deck. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. I mean, the things that this game does right, it does so right, doesn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, this is cool. This is so cool. There's the hauler. That's for the uh, for the bait. That's the freezer. Can we get up there? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, I really wish we could climb up the ladder instead of teleport up the ladder. Oh, I can't get up this one? Or have I got to go this side? Are you kidding me? I can't get up this one. Oh, what? Ah, oh, that sucks. Wow. I don't think there's a lot of wiggle room there. Let's just go to external cam and have a quick look. I think the transparency of the water has uh, been improved. Or maybe not. No, maybe not. Uh, no, actually, we've got a bit of clearance there. It's not too bad. So, this is it, guys. Uh, crab fishing from now on. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can get... Let's let's do a deal, okay? If I can get 100 likes on, on this video, then I'll make the next episode uh, sooner. So as soon as we get 100 likes, I'll, I'll live stream the next episode. That seems fair, I think. And it's not an indication of how good you thought this video was. It's an indication of how much you want to see the next video. That's, that's what it is. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.